I'm just gonna start this tutorial right now and no bullcrap. Just getting it started right now. So first you're gonna want to go to the settings in your plugin menu and enable the vector settings so that you can render the wireframe that we're trying to achieve. So then you're going to go over to your render options and click Maya Vector and go over to the Maya Vector tab and scroll down until you see the edges tab right here. They include edges and you're going to want to leave everything the same except for changing the edge to full mesh. Then you're going to want to change your color to whichever you want. I'm going to change it to purple and just leave these alone right here. Then you're going to go up here and be sure to click fill, fill objects. So that's unselected, so you just get the wireframe of the mesh. So now you're going to want to add a plane of geometry into your environment right here and make it decent size. And then you're going to want to change the subdivision to, I like about five. That seems to work out pretty well. Next, you're going to want to go to deformation and click the option on the end. And now we're going to make our mountains. And here you can do whatever you like as long as you have it to one side of the geometry and have the other side semi-flat. This is uh, something that we can use later for the mountain range itself. If you're just making plain old mountains, do whatever you want. Now right here, I'm going to fast forward the next step, which is basically just do the same thing, but make it a little bit different, you know, on uh, the opposite side, but do the same thing with that little cutoff at the end, customize it with however you want. Try to keep the uh, edges of the thing like semi, like the same. Next you're going to want to combine them by selecting both and going to mesh combine. And now you're going to go to edit mesh and go to merge edges. Where is it? Hold on. There. And you're going to want to click the edges, sometimes it takes a few clicks, and click the ones you want to merge them with so that they both become one in the center line. And then hit enter, and then just go back to hitting Q, and you can edit your mountain range however tall, however skinny you want, and you can change it to however you want. And now it should look like something like this. And now you have a wireframe mountain range. If this tutorial helped you, please leave a like. Um, I don't know if I'll make another one of these. I just made this because um, I had to go through like 20 different videos to find all of this information. And I just wanted to bring it all together into one thing for people like me who are looking to do this type of model in Maya. So yeah, um, hopefully that helped, and uh, I'll see you guys later.